All right. Well, Frank took care of it. Anyways, welcome to the after show, everybody. Ugh. Yeah, get that out of your get up. Wash that out of your mouth. Ugh. Rocco, it's safe to come back. Frank took care of it. Yeah, it's gone. I don't understand what's going on. It's it's gone. Oh, it's a. He he just went to the bathroom. He'll be back. I gotta pee too. Well, we got two bathrooms. It's a plastic bug that Dude, we. Dude, you plant that? That's like Penn and Teller's. Stuff. But let oh, him yeah. know. Someone's gotta let him know. If that's what's. It, that's what it is. Then he'll come back on. I Dude, see. Uh, I can see. What's that movie? Joe's apartment. I can see. Yeah, those were roaches. This yeah. is like a. This is like a water beetle. Yeah. Like I. A, I yeah, that's weird. All right. Well, he'll be back in just a second. Do we have uh, the capability to take some Discord yeah, calls cool. tonight? What is it? Okay, this is the first time I'm seeing this thing. Ew. Ew. What do you... Uh... I, had, I, had a, I had a shadow on me most of the show. Oh. Let's uh, go ahead and pop somebody on here. Oh. Yeah, do you want to call me? It's already in the background. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, I'll take care. It's invisible too. Where's the uh, where's the mouse? I don't know. Where's the mouse? Don't know. Called? We just need the mouse, and then we can get going. Uh, oh, I'm back. <clears throat> I don't know. Is it down there? No. With all these games coming out, <laughs> where the fuck's the mouse? I've got uh, like a little. Oh, yeah. What's up? I've got a little lull in what I've been playing. I've been kind of like not playing anything lately. In anticipation for that Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. Are you getting when that too, Derek? Uh, it's oh, at the October end of 26th. October. Yeah. Yeah. So we got like a month. It's like three more, Mario's three and a half more weeks. Else, it's like early October. That's and like a, a week. Pop, uh, you're getting that? I think so. Oh, I mean like the, the camera. They got yeah, to the bottom of it. Well, it's, it was that so plastic we bug. The of this? We got like, to the bottom of it. Like, we barely went an hour. Well, the podcast had ground to a halt. Well, yeah, point. because John, is no that one was your, saying I anything. Didn't, I didn't Seriously, like, like, there was still more shit we could have... Is that, like, a new method to well, end can, on time? If you, I didn't do anything. I, I just, like, because no one anything. was clear about what was going on. Everyone's freaking out about something, so I left. I, like, it could have just kept going. Oh, well, we're in the after Everyone show got now. a shorter podcast because of that. Like, Oh, well, we're still live. Oh. <laughs> Let me know when it's available. We can go, we can record again and continue on. No, it, it was worth it. I think, I think it was a good thing. <laughs> I do have to pee now. Go All right, go for pee. a pee. Ooh. All right, so what we do is you, you click on the users on the left side where it says online. Yeah, so click on any one of them and then join their video call. That person isn't, isn't calling, next person. Okay, I see, I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. That person isn't calling, next person. Um, oh yeah, so keep, you're, you can, Also, just so you know, Oh, we have to go online. On <laughs> Here, why don't you take yeah, over? I'll do it. Hold on a second. Why do you change your status on? Here? All right, we're online. You can call us by going into the Mega Sixty Four Discord. There you go. Someone called in. Oop, click on the draw here. All right. We talked to this guy last week. Hold on. Let's get someone else. Um, we'll jump back in, in a second. All right. Boom. Thailand Ninja. Hello. Welcome. Hello? Hello? Hey, Hi. Tylon, Yo. what's up? Hey, what'd you think of that bit? Did you love that uh, bit? Uh, yeah, it was a little, a little crazy. I wasn't really sure. What, that was what insane. Was Tylon, yay or nay on the bit? Uh, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I'll take, you know. I think, I think uh, that split. bit split. was worth the cost of several more minutes of the podcast. I think, I think the loss of 20 minutes of content was worth a rubber bug. I would yeah. Eric. Good energy. Well, and Tylon, the most ironic part Eric is uh, right now. we're sacrificing minutes of the after show for it, too. So it just is like the gift that keeps on, giving. Yeah. keeps on giving. Did you have a question for us, Tylon? Um, yeah, I was actually uh, kind of curious. Uh, so, you know, in the, the Good Life video uh, with Suda51, in the second one with the dog, what was the song you used? What was that song? I don't remember. Was that from the YouTube audio library? I can't remember. 
I'm so pissed. I can't think. <laughs> oh, get the fuck over it already. I'm, it was I'm a plastic it. bug joke. I know. You ran away. I need to work with it. I told this guy to not touch it so you could come back and be scared about it. He started doing all the stupid shit with it. <laughs> the whole show broke what down. Was it? So I said goodnight, everybody. I'm still trying to and, understand. And now we're still going to the after show. Still talking about this bug. He was never coming back. We know this. So now... I on, I'm being honest. He's mad. I'm being honest. He's mad. I'm not mad. Yeah. I'm Frank's not smiling. Mad. I'm not mad. I embrace chaos in all forms. And I'm I'm getting mad. To, I'm, now I'm getting mad. Yeah. The bug doesn't well, actually, care. Well, actually, you know, thinking about it now, I feel like if you're gonna, I felt like you actually ended the podcast with a bang. Like, thank you. you. See, thank you. you all right. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate that, Tylon. You get me. Uh. Uh, it was a song, I, I believe it was from uh, the YouTube library of like free songs to use. Boom, boom, boom. It was like, it was like the, the, we added the dog taking the pictures to it, right? Like that one? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that's the song. I don't yeah. know where it's from. Uh, try to Shazam it and let us know where it's from. <laughs> I, I'd really appreciate it if we uh, could get to the bottom of that. I'll tweet it if I find it. Hell yeah. Thank you, Tyler. I really appreciate it. All right. That's a good call. Well, I mean, and I'm being honest. I, it would it would not behoove me to be like, you know, like I'm, I like being yeah, real. Like yeah, I appreciate that. I was, you know, I was pissed and, about oh, the bug that? stunt. You I'm anti bug oh, stunt. And now you don't like bug stunts. I'm, I'm we, anti we bug stunt. That's good. <laughs> That's been my platform for years. You know and what? There, yet there was a bug stunt. To your credit, you've been able to segue this now. Into a pretty Dude, good the bit. Joey's running his own podcast. This is fucking yeah, crazy. Is. Because this listen, <laughs> here's what happens when I'm when it when I'm in charge of the bit. When I'm behind it, yeah, never fails. Oh, when I'm not, I've seen him fail. Always, so, fails. I've seen it. You know the the, the bug proof stunt is in the pudding. The bug uh -huh. stunt might have started and snowballed and maybe not way the went the way everyone imagined. But I think everyone picked up the pieces, contributed their Look, part. Yeah, we had and, fun. And in the end, Rocco, you've spun it into, I think, a hilarious way to end. And this will go down in history. Hey, I think so. As the bug stunt ending. Hey, it's just a little Halloween I, I Yeah! I think it's not fair oh, to... It's great! I, I don't think our commentary and our decision is fair. I think it's up to the people to decide. Are you pro bug stunt yeah. or anti pro. bug stunt? Let's see what Hold on, I'm gonna put a poll on Twitter, Twitter right now. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go to the Joey. Thanks this for sticking with the us, the Joey. Trial of the week. Yeah, that's fine. Ones. The Joey, uh, we got to get your take on the bug stunt. Where do you fall? Uh, I'm pro bug stunt. Hell yeah. yes. Yeah. See, yeah. My, my, my opposition Joey. is that I felt like you got less podcast because of. A vague bug activity. Yeah, but isn't that? The, I mean, wouldn't you rather have more of a podcast? Idea. Or uh, let, let, let me speak. Or wait, let him, no, yeah. Other option: the podcast is the same week in and week out. We shook it up this week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we lost seven minutes of extra content. We're gonna go for another hour right now, anyways. It was something new and yeah. something different. It was the Animal Crossing skit. We did Look, lie. all I know is in a couple of years, maybe down the road, I'll have kids. I'll be able to tell them about the bug stunt years yeah. from now. Yeah, but they won't really understand. I you honestly, watch the VOD. Think, if you think about it in the, the big picture, yeah. We would never have remembered those seven minutes otherwise. Exactly. But yeah. we'll not, we're never going to beat the bug stunt. Bug, bug stunt, 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 history. Bug stunt goes insane. down in history. How long should the poll go on? Hashtag, uh, uh, seven, seven days. days. <laughs> yeah. Seven days. Until next, Til next week. Okay, <laughs> seven seven days. Days. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be here next week, but next week we'll, 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 we'll declare it. Well, if, the, yeah. if the bug stunt was worth it or yeah, not. We'll All right, Joey, did you have a question? Um, it wasn't really a question, but I just wanted to follow up with something that you asked, I think, on last podcast. Uh, I think you asked about, uh, you were talking about Spider-Man, you asked about Spider-Man comics. Oh, great. And uh, I got real excited because I'm a huge, like, Spider-Man comic fan. And, you know, I just, I wrote down a list of oh, Spider-Man wow. comics, Derek. Nice. That I thought, like, maybe you'd be interested in. Okay. You brought up, um, you brought up Frank Miller. And, like, you know, it, I don't know if you're a fan of Frank Miller. And he, he kind of wrote, like, darker comics. But if, if that's what you're into, uh, definitely read The Death of Gene DeWolf. Great comic. Uh, it's Spider-Man. It's like kind of like a revenge story. Uh, I All think right. His, Frank Miller wrote that one, The Death of Gene DeWolf? He didn't write it, but it's kind of like that same time period. Uh, it's kind of like a dark, edgy 
1970s comic book. Okay. All right. I'll check that out. I heard a lot of people recommend Craven's Last Hunt. As yeah, the that's the that's the one everyone knows book. about. And I, I'd recommend it, but like everyone knows about it. It's also really good too. Jeez. Um Right. And then also, Rocco brought it up. I don't know if he actually knows that it's um, that it's also based off of a comic, but there's a storyline called Maximum Carnage that they turned into a video game. But it's it's oh like yeah, a, I know right. all about a Maximum Carnage. Oh yeah, I was all about yeah, that. You, you brought it up, and I didn't know if you brought it up about like uh, the video game Maximum Carnage. I had it all. The actually, game, the con. I was so into like Carnage when that was all happening. Yeah. Yeah. That that's I like that. that's a great storyline too. It's just like thirteen part comic book story where, where Carnage just escapes from prison and teams up with every horrible, every horrible villain you could possibly think of. And yeah. then Spider-Man has to like team up with Venom and Black Cat and all like these other iconic superheroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just it it pretty much becomes a gigantic war in New York City. Cool. That you know, we we basically just had the maximum carnage of Mega 64 uh, here tonight. <laughs> so yeah. the symbiote is sitting here with his antenna still. Maybe we'll up. get the novelization of that. All right, I'm gonna check those Thanks out, so much, Joey. Joey. Thanks for the wreck. Hey, no problem. See ya. It's funny Joey's talking about comics. I was in my like cleaning mode this mm -hmm. weekend. Okay. And I went into one of the rooms where I just kind of like keep a bunch yeah. of shit. Like all my VHS tapes, all my comics of all things are in there. I have like <laughs> got to stop collecting comics because oh, I've yeah? still been buying them on the regular. Do you get the individual issues? Yep. Oh yeah. And I don't read and I haven't read them for years now and I've got like I'm looking at like now four stacks of comic books piling how, up, and it's how like, much are fuck, comics now? three ninety nine. Yeah, they're not getting any deal. cheaper. They're yeah, only going that's up. That's a yeah. good deal. I I just started a new comic. There's a new one from Image Comics called Burnouts. Uh, it the premise is like nerdy high school kid. He wants to be cool. He sees these like you know fucking druggy burnout kids. Uh, he sneaks out to go to a party, and they they he does weed for the first time, and he starts <laughs> seeing aliens. And he finds out the reason these kids are burnouts is they're always smoking weed so they can kill aliens. So now these group of burnouts have to constantly be high to kill aliens in their high school. It's like a really, really, uh, it's really cool. I like it. And the main character's got a dead candy shirt on it. Who nice. makes this book? Image Comics. Image. Yeah, oh, their okay. new book from Image. It's written by uh, Cheech Marin. Dude, yeah. it's tight. It's tight. There's also a, a Ice Cream Man by Image is good. But uh, yeah, burnouts. I'm into it. Yeah, I love collecting, but fuck, I just never get to it. Okay, you looking for our next caller here. There's a new graphic novel coming out this month called All My Heroes That Were Junkies, also by Edward Baker and Sean. And, uh, uh, huh. Is this Gaelic Spice? Uh, yes. Nice. What's up, Gaelic? Uh, nothing much. I just thought I would call in. Uh, uh, what, what's up with you guys? Uh, we're doing a podcast. We are. We're hey, Gaelic, I'll tell you what's up with Jesus us. Christ. We tonight did a thing called the Bug Stunt. <laughs> were you witness to the event, Gaelic Spice? I'm sorry I was not uh, there. Why did you call Okay, it well, Gaelic. Get a Gaelic, I'm, <laughs> happy, I'm, I'm, whole, I'm happy to have you here, Gaelic. You're <laughs> just in time because you can give us an outsider perspective on the Bug Stunt. I don't know who it was. I'm not going to take responsibility. I'm not going to put responsibility on anybody, but somebody placed a rubber fake bug, insect fake bug at the base of Rocco's microphone and pointed it out to him, at which point Rocco ran out of the room. I never even <laughs> saw anything. That's what I, it was. I was just confused. Yeah, Rocco just began. Fear in his mind. That's Every, an excellent everyone point. Everyone was just going, what? Uh, that's what? an excellent point. And I was just like, I'm going to. The fear in his mind was so much worse was because it was, it, was it was the fear of the unknown. He left podcast kind of ground to a halt, so we ended it. That caused him to get extremely <laughs> angry. He thinks the bug event was fucked up. Because I felt like the podcast had life in it, and it could have gone on. But it, it right. was... And I felt, you know what? Too soon. Well, just yeah. like Jesus Christ, it died but early. Great prank ended on a high note. And you know, people, I see people saying, well, the after show should go long now. The podcast was an hour. Like, that is what we intend to do, and we always go over. Yeah. Sure, but it was an hour, so like it was cut, but I wouldn't even say it was early because mm. we, 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 we made our commitment. You fulfilled we the hour. Gay, like, what, are you pro-bug event, pro-bug pro stunt, or anti-bug stunt? Well, uh, 
seeing all the facts that have been given to me, I'm gonna have to go uh, pro bug stuff. All right. Mm. Cool. Rocco, I'm sorry. I, I just I love a good I love a good prank. But again, but was it a good that, prank? Now here's, now here's the thing. <laughs> well, I guess if, if you're on like, the receiving end, maybe four guys not. going. Oh, what? Oh, I what? didn't. Well, all right, I second, know, sec second poll. Was yeah, bug stunt a good prank? It wasn't. It wasn't. Listen, this is a good Look, prank. Maybe it wasn't a good prank, but we still enjoyed pranking you. It was. It. It. A good version of that would have been. Wait, what's this? And then I, I screamed and I ran away. I was, it's I not. It's. Confused. It's not that it's a good prank. I just enjoyed doing the pranking. I don't get it. Well, I ideally, in a perfect world, I think. Again, I had nothing to do with the bug stunt. I was just witness to it. But in a perfect world, Rocco would have seen the bug on his own accord. Yeah. Well, that I was trying been. to steer it towards that when I, I kept understand. saying, don't touch the bug. I understand. But, but you know, never gonna things happen. And if I could go back and change things, I would have. All right. You would have not touched the bug. Gaelic Spice is gone. Um, did you guys see? Bloody checked in though. Did, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know. If only, you for, we were doing. If only for a second. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Gaelic. <gasps> did you guys see that on uh, during the NFL game, the guys oh, who touched touchdown and their celebration dance was a fusion from that. Dragon Ball? Yeah, really? Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. That was cool. Who did you do the fusion with? Another receiver. That's sick. They fused. <laughs> All right, Burdicus. Cool. Burdicus, are you yay or nay? Uh, on the bug stunt, I'm yeah. a little behind on the podcast, so I just paused it. But uh, I'm yay uh, bug stunt. Uh, is it good or not? Yeah, it's a, it's not a high level prank, but it's still good, safe fun. Still a Are good prank. Are you from prank. Australia? Solid prank. Yeah, Australia. What kind of fucking crazy bug stunts go on there? Yeah, every day is a bug stunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get you get the plate spire and put it on someone's plate, mate. Oh, <laughs> plate spire? <laughs> plate spire. What's this plate it's spire? It's the size of a plate. The size of a plate. Yeah, that's it. Size of the plate. Have you actually seen one of those? I've seen big spires, like maybe like like palm size. Oh, your hand. What the fuck? is that is that common? Oh, if you, look, if you're out in the bush and you, you'll see them around, okay, but they're okay. not, but they, you, you won't see it in your house. We you hear, know? we hear horror stories from, in America about Australia, like, don't go there. You're going to have, you know, mm -hmm. camel spiders and cobras, you know, slithering into your pillows at night. So, well, yeah, not yeah, in it's the like city. anything, man. Just yeah, the same as the city. You don't go on the road, eh? Just yeah, don't. They don't, stay, they don't stay say the that. W. They don't say that. They, they got a W over there, right? They say it's all of Australia. Look, this is just a house, and we took the clock off, and there's a fucking ten foot spider behind it. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I have seen Actually, that. This you, is like the mayor's that. house, you know. Yeah. Damn. Anyways, uh, yes. you set the story straight. I appreciate that. Did you have a question for us, Bruticus? Uh yeah, I, I um I had one question. Uh, what's the best way to watch the uh, the version things? Because I've heard about them for years, but I never really knew what they were. Oh, we have uh. a Blu-ray collection of version 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, but should he start at the beginning, or, you yeah. know, what's the oh, best way? I think so. I say start at the beginning. Begin the begin. Yeah. Well, didn't we release a... Did we we put out the redo of episode 1, right? Uh, yeah, it's on a different Blu-ray. Yeah, oh, the TLC so video experience. You'd have to get that Blu-ray. Maybe we'll put that online at some point. That'd, oh, that'd be, be cool. But, that'd be a fun thing to do. But yeah. Yeah, because uh, I'm excited for whatever this uh, version 4 is, but I haven't seen any of the previous ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say start there and then, you know, grow with us. You'll realize that we were 18 and in our dad's house and, you know. Well, you know one. what? Yeah. You don't. You, version 4, we're going to try to make it in a way so that if you're coming in fresh and you've never seen Mega 64, it's still going to make sense and be entertaining to you. We're yeah. trying to. You know, we, we don't want to make it exclusive or hard to get into. Yeah. That being said, I hope, I think it's all of our hope that you'll watch version four, love it, think it's interesting, and want to go back and see what came before. Yeah. Uh, and so like Sean said, if you're going to watch it, it's probably best just to start at the beginning, but realize it starts really shitty. It's a public access <laughs> show made by high school students, and it gets better as it goes on. Yeah. And you can kind of see our progression and see us uh, learn and grow and become better, which... Maybe you'll think it's cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we literally yeah, grow up doing this. Yeah. It's been 15 years. And, you know, so that is interesting, I think. Yeah. I'm not even in stuff until, like, what, end of version two? Yeah, I start showing the up. the late version two. Yeah. Um, but you, you kill it in version three. But, um, oh, thank you. 
And basically what I would do is watch it all, watch it with each, each episode has like a couple different commentaries, watch them all with those, then watch all the extra features. <laughs> and then once the recording goes up, watch the bug stunt because it all yeah. culminates with that and then i and then make your decision yeah, then you then, can vote yeah, yeah that's like the vote. uh end of so you, you kind of can't really make the call right now but once you see it all together yeah. contextual you can do all that right in seven days we're gonna leave the call thank you bruticus I want to hear from an anti-bugger, okay? Yeah, we, yeah. we need I, the other side. I want to find an anti-bug stunter out there to come. There. I think I think the bug stunt is great. Change my mind. Let's have a conversation. Uh, who do you think we I should... I love that when we were yelling about it, people in the chat were like, oh my god, oh, they're, oh, they're really fighting. Like, is this what's going to end Mega 64? <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you even fucking knew, like... <laughs> Oh, this one, this guy loves it. It's like when I remember, I remember getting into it with Eric on the podcast about the Uncharted Two opening. Yeah, was it a good opening or not? And he hated it. And I'm like, I think that's one of the best excellent. openings ever. And he got into it. And I remember people going like, I really hope this doesn't mean like there's a rift between them. And it's like the the nah, opening of over. Uncharted well, Two. Yeah, I mean Eric is not sometimes. Here. And the answer is yes. We kicked this. Yeah, he's ass gone. T Mac. Fuck that. Are you an anti bugger? Yo. I guess I, I'd have to go with, uh, I didn't like this skit, but I enjoyed watching it. Oh, I think he, he used it on him. Uh, uh, I love it. Uh, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Reversal. Rocco, it's I the way you felt about Fuller House. It is. No, that makes sense. Cause that's a show. It's a production. <laughs> well, so was the bug stunt. Watch it. The bug so stunt. is the podcast. You couldn't even watch the bug stunt. And people are going, what, what, where is it? What is it? You it's a live act theater of the mind. Yeah. Which is some of the best. Yeah. Theater of the mind, yeah. If you're talking to yourself like a crazy person, maybe, but uh, I don't. I'm All right. Right. Well, T T Mac, yeah, I like that answer. Yeah. What do you want to talk about? I got uh, I got two questions. The first one's for Rocco, and then the second one's for everybody. Okay. Um, I guess Rocco, with with all the personal channel vids that you make, and like your hard cuts where you kind of slam your phone down. How many phones have you broken over the years, or like cracked like screens or back you cameras? Like this. Oh, that kind transition. Of stuff? You know, toilet transition. I have never shattered my phone ever. Wow. wow. Not <laughs> once. Even when my phone was slammed to the ground in the Stanley Parable video yeah. by a very yeah. angry oh, yeah. person, and they spiked it. It was the one day, coincidentally, I never wear a case. I never have a case. Yeah, because he goes caseless and has never I shattered. I don't like cases. Yeah. But they Disney put out a, a cute haunted mansion case, so I put that on there because I like the wallpaper, the purple wallpaper. And that was the one day I had it on, and she spiked it, and it just bounced off this rubber rim, and it didn't break. So yeah, I've never had that happen. And even like we streamed during um, Pax West at one point, okay. we were streaming, and I put my there was an active sprinkler going, and I put my phone oh, yeah. in, into the sprinkler as it got sprayed to, to live stream. Uh, what a sprinkler that freaked I, me I, out. I guess nobody had done that, but anyway, yeah. But uh, the phone phones now are resilient. The like, 10 uh, can do water, that, yeah. Water and all that, shit. also. Yeah. When we when piss on your that, phone, it's we, fine. When we do that, like, Already we purposely it. hit the microphone, yeah, yeah. to make it it's like, worse or, than it is, yeah. yeah you make it sound than it actually, yeah. Is. yeah, yeah. But anyway, it's really not all right. My, my other question is so, all you guys are like <laughs> yes. really creative, um, and you kind of started off just doing like rogue stuff in the garage or in your neighborhood with your friends. Like what was the kind of the moment where you realized, okay, this isn't just something where I'm messing around with my friends. This is like a big deal. I think I can make a career out of this because each, each of you kind of probably had it at a different moment, but I'm just kind of curious what that moment was like. Wow. Okay. We can actually do this forever. Um, can we ban this fucker in the chat? Sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean to be distracted. Yeah, this person um, don't worry about okay. it. We're on. Um, the uh, it was like someone who typed pro bugs for stunt in the chat. Yeah, yeah. I, someone likes the bug stunt, and, and I don't need the too propaganda. much. Yeah. Too much. Um, you know what it was for me? This is a weird, specific little moment that no one else was even an audience to. But at one point, I was sent a check to. Um, we were going to have our, a booth at Comic-Con because we thought our DVD was going to be out by summer 2004, and it wasn't. But um, we thought that it was, and the guy and our friend from Something Awful, uh, Lotex, sent us a check to like, well, just go get a booth at Comic-Con so you'll have a place to sell them. Yeah. And, uh, and he just wrote me a check, 
And that was insane to me that like someone just gave me money. You know what I mean? It, and it wasn't even for me. It wasn't like, yeah, I got, oh, check it out. It was directly for Comic-Con. But it was still, I remember thinking it's like, like something awful. Whoa, kind of fun. like someone, yeah, I mean, it was like thousands of dollars. And it was just like, you're just giving this to me? Like, okay. And, and again, it, we gave it to Comic-Con, but it was still like, whoa, there's like money and entertainment. Like that, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that was like, at that time I was earning, you know, 50 cents to work in a video store. And so the idea that someone valued our entertainment enough that they were willing to like spend some money, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah take this money and go, go buy a Comic-Con booth was like, whoa, like that, that was where I got the bug for like, Hey, like, I wonder if we work hard at this, like we can actually like maybe make money doing it, maybe make it our full time whatever but that was a that was a weird personal moment for me it was just like oh there's you know you know what i mean it was just yeah. i don't know anyway i had an introspective moment like that when i was i think again uh, we talked about cultural phenomenons i was way way in the world of warcraft in high school like i loved it but i was never competitive with it and i remember i had a distinct memory i was in iron forge uh at the uh, auction house and i was seeing all these people with better gear than me and i was like man there's people who fucking play this game 16 hours a day that's never gonna be i don't want this game to be my job i don't want this to be my life Everyone can do this. Everyone can be better than me. But not everyone can make videos like I do. So some people can be really good at World of Warcraft, but I can be good at making videos. So there was just that backseat moment of like, oh, I can chill at this, but then go hard at making videos. Don't put your time into uh, yeah. a labor that's not going to reward you. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, yeah, then, there's, then it just grew from there. Yeah. Uh, when I found out that we could get a consistent paycheck through working with IGN and like they wanted to hire us essentially like as freelancers to do something. It wasn't a lot, but, but it was it, a contract. But it was enough that it's like, oh, this is enough that like I could figure it out and maybe make this work and just quit my job. Like that to me was like, I, I mean, I remember exactly where I was with Rocco saying like, if we ever make $10 with this, we've made it. And we, I mean, that's, and so it's pretty cool that like you know we're here now but like you know like i remember exactly where i was saying that to rocco and mm -hmm. you know getting that ten dollars like this is fucking crazy we did it you know so um i still feel like you never know when the bubble's gonna burst i still have moments of like sure. how long you know we're really lucky to have this how long will it last sure. um but i remember you know all those things were cool going to Comic-Con the first time and, and going full time, it was like a real big confidence boost. But I still have always had this fear of like, you know, this might all go away someday. And I remember I had a friend who was working at one video game company as like a artist and, and the company closed. And within a week, he had like moved to another company. And I thought like, wow, that's really cool. That guy has a skill set that can easily be transferred. And then maybe a few years later, I started thinking, you know what? I, it was slowly, but I just realized like, I think Mega64 has given us all a skill set that can be transferred. I think if this all went yeah. away right now, we've learned enough and we've accomplished enough and built a reputation enough where we could go out and continue doing what we're doing in some other capacity. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I realized it, it kind of all became clear to me like, oh, it, it really was just all on us. It was always just our decision to keep going. You know, nobody ever gives you permission to do what you want to do or say like, you can do this now or you have to stop now. Yeah, yeah. It's really a decision you have to make for yourself. Yeah. And I realized almost after the fact, like, oh, we, we made that decision a long time ago because we are just still doing it. And now I realize we've been doing it for so long, I don't ever have to stop unless I want to. And right. that, was, that was the moment for me when I realized that like, it really was my own choice to continue making these videos. Maybe nobody will watch them, but I could still make them, right. you know? And, and I don't have to be out of this industry until I decide that I don't want to do it anymore. So yeah. Hmm. yeah, there you go. Cool. Well, thanks, guys. One other thing, Sean. I was going to say uh, I'm a big Rockies fan, so I just want to say your Padres really screwed us not beating the Dodgers a few weeks ago. Oh, all right. Don't need to go Meg, there. hang up on this guy. He never touched home. Oh, no sports talk. Home. No sports bullshit. Stop. Well, this guy is uh, part, part time anti bugger Unless you're going to talk about Madden next, or next other next column. Line. Next line. NBA right, right, Jam. Right, right, right. It always confuses me. Uh, anyone, right? Yeah. Just random. <clears throat> Where was he calling from? The Rockies? Yeah, Colorado. Oh. Uh, Colorado. Kathleen Noir. Hi. Hello. Um, yeah, Avatar. I, I guess um, 
I want to save this for game days, but I'll just say it now because I'm scared I'll forget. Okay. Say a big thank you to you guys. Um, you guys really made a community at, uh, online where I get to meet other fans of your work. And through that, I made a lot of really great friends. Oh, we forgot to um, ask, really are you pro bug <laughs> stunt or anti yeah, bug yeah, stunt? No, yeah, that's kind of what it boils down to. Pro or anti, are that's you an anti bugger? I don't like bugs. So he's anti. Well, but I haven't been I haven't been watching the podcast. I just saw you're taking calls, and I just oh, oh get out! Oh. No, 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 no. He's got no. time to watch he was it. Saying nice things. Well, well just Tuesday. we'll just pick one then. Are you for it or against it? Against pro or against bugs? No, no, no the, the, stunt. the bug stunt. The bug stunt. <laughs> yeah, be clear. Oh man, uh, I know. I'm gonna say pro. Yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah. buddy! You didn't yes. See yeah. No, you made the it's right like at home. choice. Yeah. Well, when you say stunt, I'm like, oh, these bugs are doing sick tricks. I bet. Yeah, yeah. It, it, was, was, it, it, it was. It was, dude. Yeah. Whatever your imagination it was, cooked it was up, crazy. that's it, right. wild. It, it, correct. Pretty much hit the nail on the head. Yeah, 100. Uh, oh, all nice. right, you were saying something. Go ahead. Um, yes, I, I was singing your praises, and then something happened. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was big. Thank you for. Um, given, given, given us a platform to meet each other. That way, I just made a ton of great friends, and I just really appreciate that you guys um, do a lot to reach out to the community and bringing us together. And, awesome. and it, that's it means what a lot. I honestly so love about game days is when people show up not knowing a person there, yeah, and then they leave with like friends and they yeah, talk to, like, on the phone later, and like they have like legitimate friendships because of this. Like, that is such a great thing that I have seen happen year after year after year. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. Like, that is, like, one of the most things, like, I'm most proud of that, I think. Yeah. Like, everything that we've created, like, we've, like, you know, we've formed bonds with other people that, you know, we didn't even know. They just, like, were fans of us. It's so cool. Yeah. Um, th this year will actually be my first game days, and I wasn't sure about going, but last year I met a fellow internet soldier online, and it's like, you know what, I really want to hang out with him. I'm going to go to game days. Nice. Yeah, you're gonna oh, have yeah. a great time. You're gonna make more friends. It's gonna be great. And come say hello. Um, I, I, I do have a question though about editing, if you don't mind. Sure. Yes. Hell yeah. Uh, I am just discovering After Effects and nice. learning some neat things with that. And so my question is, what is one thing you learned through editing using editing software that you're like, oh wow, this is really cool. Um, that kind of tech. I want to pick up any techniques I can, and I think it'd be great That's to hear what you've been using. Like, in terms what, of, like, what was that oh, last I, I part like again? this effect. What was that last part again? Would like to learn different techniques for editing? Yeah. You asked, what, what cool techniques have we picked up along the way? And I didn't hear what you said after that. Uh, that that's, that's pretty much it. I was just rehashing myself. Oh. Um, I just want to know, like, what what's, uh, what's something you learned? when you do in post, you're like, oh, this is a really cool effect. Is my voice cutting out? No, you're good. We're thinking. I think maybe it's just too broad a question. I mean, one thing that's really oh. essential. Well, uh, I mean, can I start? Yeah, yeah, please. Back when I first started, Fade was a game changer. And I'm just going like square one. Fade to black? Just fade to black, fade to the next scene. Fades. Then I met Rocco. Yeah. This guy taught me how to wipe. In more ways than one. And you I, taught him how to wipe? And I never wiped before until he taught me how to wipe. And now I uh, wipe all the time. That was the second moment. Second, So first was fade. Second was wipe. Uh, stick with me because I got a shit ton of these. <laughs> uh, I'm ready. <laughs> um... Lightsabers? You know, I never learned that one. No? I never learned no, that one. Oh, I watched a YouTube. I, I never learned it either, but I do like watching YouTube tutorials Ooh. on how to do them. Time speed up. Now yeah. I'm doing Benny Hill shit. Yeah. <laughs> that was fucking level up. No, welcome to level three. Benny Hill power unlocked. Dude, then what Garrett's doing, you can put MP3s. In the yeah. Video. Oh, so, so the stuff that wasn't there before, you Soundtrack. can add it. Yeah. Oh, and the, yeah. So quickly after speeding up, I figured out slowing down. What? What? 
And then the sound oh. would be like this. And then you could rewind it through the edges and sounds like that. Yeah. yeah. So, Re- do negative. Rewind was the next level up. Uh, negative change, colors. Change the color Inver- spectrum. Invert oh, color wow. spectrum. Yeah. yeah, it looks cool. You know what I do? Make it look like a demon. Now, all right. Now, Garrett brought it up. I didn't want to go this fast. I'm going to skip Whoa, years ahead. Hold on. Years Whoa, ahead. Level 400? Tritone color correction. Oh. And then it, it takes your thing and just turns into three colors, and it's easy to turn it negative. It's like a cheat to make it, it look is, negative it cool. when it's not really negative. Tritone oh. color correction. That was one cheat. Sean taught me this was a fucking mind blower. This one fucked me up. This one was a fucker. Sean taught me this shit. Fucking Sean. <laughs> this guy fucks. Always wonder what Jenny saw on this guy. Now I know this guy's got the balls when it comes to editing. I hope you're getting as excited as I am. Show all this preamble. Shut, shut. <laughs> what I was saying was Sean taught me this next tip. What is it? <laughs> it's- I knew it. <laughs> Give me a second, dude. I got a lot of knowledge up here. I got ca- <laughs> When you're editing in the timeline and you hit L, I believe, you could speed up mm-hmm. the yeah. your playthrough. And then if you hit J, mm-hmm. it, it sets it back. So easier way to edit. You could actually speed up your playthrough. Shortcuts. That's how I edit the podcast. I speed it up. Well, I was going to say, yeah. I, can, I know all of our voices in like four times speed. So <laughs> I can tell you who's who's it's that. I know it. Uh, for for me, in in all seriousness, it, it, learning all the keyboard shortcuts yeah. is the best thing you could do because it was uh, it just speeds everything up so much. Yeah, G is the pen tool. V is the I'm gonna I'm just gonna give them to you all right now. Pointer. I'm gonna pointer. give you the level up. That's the pointer. C. Uh, the C cut. is the cut, cut tool for the razor. Yep. Uh, if you hit A, it's the select all yep, tool. All but if you hit shift A, it's the select all in every row tool. Mm-hmm. I think now it's default that though. Oh, so they swapped in, them. In the yeah. new premiere, yeah. I they think, swapped I think them. I'm the old Do you guy. Ever get nervous I'm you old school. He doesn't get everything and messes up something. Sometimes I get all scroll yeah. wide. I, I get nervous yeah. sometimes. I trust I trust my tools. Mm. Nice. Um, what if he's on Vegas or something though? Well, you no, said he's I'm, on Adobe. I'm CS, uh, Adobe CS6. Okay, good job. I'm Adobe's still, Vegas. I'm still uh, just using iMovie. Control less is save. Dude. Get good on that. I'm still working with, I love my students, but I'm still working with students who don't remember to save. And uh, I, that, that uh, happened today, and I just thought, hey, let this happen about a dozen more times, and you'll never have this problem again. Like, it's just yep. one of those things, like, <laughs> keep saving. Um, Legitimately, though, uh, if you're using Adobe Premiere, it will auto save every 15 minutes or so. So if your project crashes and it doesn't save, go into your, your Premiere folder, go into auto saves, and you'll recover your project. I have yep. to do that with a student every single week. Oh man. But please, just control save. Just, con- just our Apple S. People don't know to save. It's crazy. It's happened to me what? too many times. Yeah. Any other, any other moments where you leveled up your editing? You guys are the editing masters. I think you guys nailed it. And, you know, oh. it's, it's been so riveting, this call so well, far. Well, then I invented gay editing. Yeah, and fucked up editing. That was a milestone. That's like, he should have to pay for those I mean, kind of classes. They should put me in the editing hall of fame mm-hmm. awesome. for some of the innovation I've brought to the field of editing. Yeah, yeah. Your, your Game of Wars editing is really good. It's really good. Oh, I guess that would be the fucked up editing. That's that the fucked up editing. I've about. told the story before, but... You asked me to edit Gamer Wars. You asked me to do this. And I was like, oh, I've, I wasn't there when we filmed that first one, so I don't know. And then later I saw how you edited it, and you said, I used the fucked up method of editing and made it as bad as possible. And I thought, this is why he wanted, he you. wanted me to edit. <laughs> this oh. is why. I wanted you to do a rough and edit. He, then I was going to come I fuck saw, it up. I saw through the curtain, and it was an ugly sight. <laughs> Uh, for those wondering what gay editing is, gay editing was when we did uh, we did our video about going to gay days at Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. And we looked at other. It was just like a montage. Like, okay, how do, how should we edit this montage? 
and then we looked at other uh, people's videos of being at Disneyland on gay days, and they were all edited in the same way. They had way. a certain style. They had transitions that would zoom in and go out, and then they would go like... They all uh, had a very similar aesthetic. Mosaic and like, yeah, all this mm-hmm. stuff. And then that was like, oh, there, this is gay days like editing. I'm going to do that. Yeah, so we stayed within that stuff. And I made it its own genre. Yeah. So I'm sorry if it sounds bigoted, but it's a term that was coined years ago. Yeah. yeah. And it's a tool bag that you keep in your back pocket, so... And then uh, mm-hmm. I have legitimate editing advice that I... I, I feel like a lot of times, especially people who are starting out, they think too much instead of just doing. So the way I edit is just try something. If it doesn't work, try a different way. Try a different way. Try a different way. Like I am always doing control Z to undo. A lot of students will sit there thinking for two minutes and then put two clips and, and like just try it out. And if yeah, it doesn't see work, how it looks. Yeah, just try it out. But then also like, yeah, some of Derek, get, feel free to get weird with it. Because as you edit, you'll just develop this instinct and you'll know like, oh, that's what I'm going for. If not. So just, just, just put stuff in the timeline, try it out, put it in different orders, like really mess with it. And then a thing I do too, is I will duplicate sequences. So say if I finish my rough cut, I'll duplicate that sequence. That way the rough cut is still there. And then I'll start the second rough cut. I can mess it up however I want because the original rough cut is still saved on another timeline. Um, that's more advanced editing stuff, but yeah, have fun with it. You know, I find when I tell people, I give people editing advice, yeah. like you said, and I tell people to get stupid with it. And they often don't want to do that because yeah. they think it's a waste of time. Uh, and they think like, I'm not going to break the rules because I know I'm not going to do this. And I always tell them, you have to do that. You have to break the rules of editing because that's how you find your voice. Mm -hmm. And there's so much stuff that is uh, characteristic of a Mega64 video that a Mega64 fan would see and be like, that's so Mega64. And we kind of discovered that stuff by breaking the rules and getting stupid with it. Yeah. Doing it for 10 years too. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, but doing it in our style. And like, there's so many times we're like, this video isn't working all right, I have a crazy idea. Yeah. Let's try something mm-hmm. really weird. And it's like, holy shit, that worked. And then that's in our bag of tricks. Yeah. Uh, so that's how you find your voice yeah. as an editor is just, you know, getting weird with it, breaking the rules. All right, I think that's enough yeah. uh, on this subject. Thank you. Thank you. you know what has... Uh, <laughs> All right. What? Bye. No, so, Rocco's... Uh, I was about to say thanks for taking my call, but I cut you off, sorry. Oh, no. Why, why did you do that to me? This no, is like thank the... you. No, I'm kidding. Thank you for your call. That was, that was a good call. He's trying to do a bug um, stunt. Something that has amazing editing, and I don't want to go right, on about you. it because I feel like I always fucking do. It was, uh, the, you know, I'm rewatching Lost. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the constant is such great editing where there, you know, smash cut. He's he's hop. His mind is hopping between two time periods, mm. and it's just great. Hey, uh, just so you know, the door's open. You know, and then he's in another place. And I loved, I remember hearing the commentary on that episode was cracking me up because they had like old, like old school Hollywood editors edit that show. And they were like, yeah, just go. F-. Damon Lindelof was telling him like, hey, fuck up the editing. This episode should be disorienting. Uh, cool. So, mi- I mean, in the middle of Saeed talking, just go. Yeah. And they were like, no. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I, no, I mean, I, I, won't I, cut I, I don't do that. <laughs> Just do it for this episode. And they, they were like such by the book, Jeez. like, no, I do TV editing. You know, it's like, yeah. that's their profession. It's like, I do TV editing. This is how you do it. Yeah, I'm yeah. asking you to not do, do movie this editing. week. Yeah. And so they had to like get in there. And so, yeah, the editing of that is super frenetic, but they, they had to like fight. And probably won a <laughs> fucking Emmy. Yeah, yeah that, was the, that was the award-winning episode. Exactly. I mean, so, that's how anyway. it goes. You can't, yeah. oh, okay. Anyway. All right, I just hung up. Goodbye. I'm good for one more call, I think. Goodbye, Kathleen. No, you do, do a bunch. All right, let's uh, find Dindin's a... Dindin's calling. Let's find a hell yeah caller. Oh, whoa. That's a good... This first is probably on your side. We'll image. see. Whoa. Oh, days. Oh, perfect. What's up? What's up? Yo. Hello, Yo. Hello. What's up, Oh, days? Uh, I got a question for you guys. Cool. We per- got answers. Are you an anti-bugger? Uh, you know, I got to side with Rocco on this one. I am an anti-bugger. Wow. Thank you. Why? Thank you. Well, you're uh, the first I'm one we've had all night, so we got to talk about no, this. No, we're not. We will not. <laughs> yeah. You did why? Like the bugs done. Why? I can respect that, but yeah, why? You know, you never got to fake a bug attack with another man. What? You never got a fake now bug attack. Just, could you? Or, what's could a, you what, say that again? <laughs> what's a real bug attack? You never got a fake bug attack. You know... I may not be the best with bugs, but I'm just saying, don't oh, mess with another man's problem with bugs. Thank you. How about okay, this attack? So, so you're, so you're saying nothing. No, no reaction. You're uh, saying that you knew. 
Oh, days! I think you could use a good bug stunt, yeah. is what I'm thinking. No, we're on the same page. Two intellectuals. All right, Odays. Oh, uh, I don't know if it's worth continuing this call. I don't know. If, <laughs> I think it is. I, I know, just, there's a diversity of thought. I just you don't want a diversity of thought in this nation. And it's about time we heard opinion. it. See? Yeah, I just think the intellectual level of this call has plummeted. No, I, do, uh, I I'm, I'm feeling kind of opposite vibes. Excuse here. me. But I'm willing I, to be open. You know. Um, I bet you, you know, have. A, if you have a, do you have a question for us? Yeah. I, I bet it's going to be a brilliant insightful question prove me wrong or actually don't let's see go ahead all right oz oz oh days whatever your ozark whatever your name is we're gonna be judging you <laughs> we're gonna be judging you Ozone. so hard okay. on this question all right frozen okay. I'm ready. To us. I'm ready i'm all ready right. so all i know that you guys love finding those undiscovered youtube gems yeah do. Mm -hmm. you got that so right i'm wondering time. What are your guys' methods for finding those YouTube videos? All right, Bozo. Wow. Let me tell Whoa. you. Let's get to it. You know, this sucks because back in the day, it was so easy. recently uploaded easy. and watch. That's how, like, That's how we Frank found and I skit. found Do the Skit together. Yeah. Recently yeah. uploaded. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was uploaded for 30 seconds and we found it And ruined easy. that kid's life forever. And now <laughs> it's George. so hard they got these fucking algorithms coming at you left and right. You don't. It's all pushed because what they mm -hmm. wanted to show you. You can't just find random shit anymore. You I have still, no idea. You can still kind of do that. You can go to search for like random buzzwords and then hit recently uploaded as mm -hmm. the filter. Really? And yeah. you can find stuff that's like 30 seconds, 15 seconds, like... But it's only tied to the, title, the yeah. search engine that you... So try to pick like really vague or funny words something that you think is going to be gold yeah mm -hmm. yeah, yeah you gotta go kevin you gotta good, go good fishing. idea you gotta go yeah. fishing dot gotta ABI. use the good bait kevin just threw out there dot abi is the search and then under that filter it down to recent uploads like within a week or within the hour yeah that's smart that's smart frank has I got some the, ideas i usually just use two words that don't really max mm -hmm. or match each other at all Oh, that was how I found uh, yeah. the two little dicky trick videos. Wow. Yeah, was dick trick, and it was like, let's see what, <laughs> let's see what I search. Oh, dicky trick. That's in the Mega Sixty Four TV. Uh, That's in there. Loop. Yeah. Us finding that video. Yeah. Oh, great. Dicky trick is so. The... So you're already on our our classic techniques. So anyway. Yeah, really, you just gotta face that fear of bugs and uh, get down with the you know the good entertainment, solid see? entertainment. See, the other side okay. here can't understand that, you know, a person likes what they like, mm. you know, and he's trying to convert you, which is wrong. Why, why should yeah. you be anyone but yourself? Oh, my gosh. It was Just look, never change. You wouldn't give a, a drug addict more drugs, right? You wouldn't let an anti-bugger continue. Uh, what the fuck is oh, that? Oh, 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 shit. That's like that X-Files episode. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, my God. He had a seizure. Dude, fucking X-Files did that. That, that fucking that scared me. Just had a suffocate that uh, fucking scared me himself in his own spit that was another bug stunt you fucker oh no Rocco bug stunt too darkness falls I hope you I hope you're loving this this looks this looks Whoa, really, this really scary I really don't think it's, it's like sauce on my face here. yo what up? hey can I pause for a second to say something uh -oh. and I think it's important okay can we kill the bug thing for a second because <laughs> I think this is an important thing okay I wore Mario socks today because oh. it's Mario oh come on September 30th Mario did. Mario you almost said Mario no Monday. Showing that? I thought it was like a. Uh, What's that brand of sports where it's the two H's that intersect? You know, because I thought it was that. I was like, oh, Rocco's got some sporty hockey. No. Sporty. Uh, no, that's these Mario. Are, these are nice. I, I thought those ones. were like the, like the slash of the one, yeah, two, like, three, four, five. Oh, okay. like, you know, like black, like seven. You know what, though? Like black flag. There's some socks that this when you like put them on, got a target. Yeah. When, there's some socks that when you put them on, the design doesn't survive too well to the <laughs> yeah, stretching yeah. of your yeah. tree Cast. trunk leg. Yeah, you're yeah, too muscular. This is one. Mario just kind of yeah. turned into a, a black smear. Yeah, dude, your legs are so fucking ripped. Fucking Schwarzenegger. Yeah calves over here they don't sell you know Robert it would, you know what have very ripped calves and that is you're, true I know, you're like trying yeah. to put a baby condom on a horse cock over there <laughs> <laughs> that is an yeah. excellent well, it's not, wow. excellent I'm used to analogy. it doesn't work I'm, I'm, a finger cock I'm used to it <laughs>
<laughs> I'd, flex, I'd flex, but I like these socks. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> uh, uh, so, yeah, cool socks. I missed yeah, them. Hell but. yeah. Fucking. I I oh, up, up front, they look cool. Anyway, oh, hey, oh, sauce please. on my face. What's up? Hey. Oh, I was going to uh, go, but you got lucky. You got to yeah. talk to me. No, Grab Sean's staying for a while. I'm not. I hope so. Oh, man. Uh, well, he cut around. the podcast short with his little uh, I didn't sketch. Do it. I had nothing to do are, with wait, it. Are you using fucker. your fucking voice, Joker voice? No, I'm yeah, using that's, not fair. that's not fair. All right, <laughs> oh. sauce on my face. What's up? Don't go right. there. Uh, I had a question for you guys. Uh, nice, dude. This past uh, Labor Day weekend, yeah. I got to help run a booth at uh, San Japan. It was a, uh, it was a uh, like a convention held uh, the same place where Pack South is. Okay. okay. And uh, okay. it was just really different being on like the other side of things, oh, I guess. Table. Yeah. And um, I wanted to ask you guys like, what's your favorite thing to look forward to while you're running your booths mm. at different conventions? Favorite thing to do. Favorite thing to do. To look forward to at running. Look forward a booth? to or do. You uh, know, at the convention, like it's fun. We hang out, like we work, and like you know, it's, there's times it's really busy and it kind of whatever. Makes the day go by. It faster. does, and that's why we're there is for the booth, and that's important. But my favorite parts of the day are when we all go back to the hotel room to watch whatever shitty show we're gonna watch or play Raspberry Pi and just like hang out and relax. Like that to me is like. We kind of wind down from like the busy day. Of, like, also, yeah, we've been standing for ten hours eating like junk food. Yeah. So that <laughs> meal for me, it's like, oh my god, I can sit and eat for the first time. Yeah, like, it was hard uh, I have without to being interrupted. That's that's in terms of eating junk food at the booth. Yeah, yeah. like I've been trying not to do that. We, so we're, we're a lot. I went into packs. You know, I haven't been eating like carbs or sugar mm -hmm. or any of that. That was really hard at packs. Every other event, yeah. I didn't have an issue. And PAX, it was like I PAX guess I'll sucks. I guess I'll have yeah. this hot For dog. Food. With the no food dog. options are not good. Yeah, it was weird because they got rid of the exhibitor lounge with the free food oh, because people complained yeah. about the vegan options. Hey, you know what? Being at a convention, it's our opportunity to meet everybody who is a fan of Mega sixty four. But what is so cool is that sometimes a fan is somebody that you're a fan of too. So when we're at conventions, a lot of times like a video game developer will come up or a yeah, Japanese yeah. developer, somebody we never knew, like paid attention to us and they're really excited to talk videos and they want to yeah. collaborate. And that's, you know, just, you never know who you're going to meet or what opportunities are just going to walk up to you at the convention and yeah. kind of the anything can happen vibe is what's so exciting and to me about it. And there are also people that like come by the booth every single year at that one convention. So then you go, and then like you see them, like oh shit, I haven't seen you for a year. How's it going? Like you become friends with these people yeah. that you've like, you know, like just have seen over the course of the last ten years. It's really cool. That's definitely a highlight for being at the yeah. booth. Is like getting to catch up with those people that you see once a year, and yeah. that's like a tradition. Right. Um, Exhibitors too. Like, it's like yeah. Oh, I like traveling fans. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Kev. it's like summer camp. Other exhibitors. Kind of, yeah. So we gave you. It wasn't all just uh, when we get out of there and we can leave. It was a little of both. Like we're definitely. Looking forward to being done with but that you know, long. Like, those you you worked this uh, San Japan, so you know how long those days are. Yeah. It was... So you're you're realistic about like, oh my god, when's this over so we can rest? But yeah. I do definitely look forward to all that time spent. Yeah. Catching up yeah. with people, hanging totally. out. We always have such a blast. Yeah. Hanging out at cons with each other. But even hanging out in the room, like we used to do that. Back in the day, we did like hang out in my bedroom, you know. Yeah. So we don't do that anymore. We're adults. I never but watch we're, TV. We're doing that again, you know. I, I never know. watch TV unless we're all in a hotel room. Yeah. Together. Yeah. That's the only time I ever watch like yeah. I, television with commercials on it. Yeah. And shit. I never turn that on. You know what? You know what? But I do when I'm in a foreign country, like, like oh, Japan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I leave it on all the time there yeah, because true. I just see weird shit all day. When I room with you, you never turn. You know it on. what? Yeah. I, I recently room. have. Here's my problem. Tangent. Not talking about your question anymore. Sauce on my face. Good question. I hung up on you. Um, <laughs> He'll take his answer off the air. I'll make food, you know, for dinner, breakfast, or whatever, and I'll be like, I want to sit down and just watch something while I eat. And I'll find that for my whole meal, I'm just scrolling through Netflix. And then by the time I find something to watch, I'm like done with my food. Yeah. And it's just scrolling through Netflix yeah. is my main Netflix activity. I never find anything I actually want to watch. Yeah. 
So I actually do put on basic cable every once in a while. I'll just put on, you know, some random channel. Oh, the fucking Steve Wilkos show is on. Oh, cool. Did you cheat? All right. Eat my breakfast. I like just having some program programming just going. Yeah. Um, when I just need to kill 10 minutes, I don't really care what it is. But if I have to pick it myself, then it's like option anxiety. I can't commit to any no, one I, thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think with me, uh, with me, I have set shows I want to watch uh, that like... I don't watch anything outside of that. Yeah. So all these options on Netflix mean nothing to me. If it's like, okay, do they have, can I watch uh, uh, Better Call Saul on it? No, the new ones aren't on there. Okay, canceled. Um, but like fun for me, like at home when I'm doing stuff, it's always the Funimation app because I'm still trying oh, to catch up. I'm really? still trying to catch up on Dragon Ball Super or Attack on Titan has had brand new episodes or th there's like three things on there and I stick to those three things and they're not ever going off. It's not yeah. like Netflix where they rotate, you know, uh, it's those three things. And so I, well, I actually find myself watching mm -hmm. YouTube more and more just sure. going back to YouTube. Say. It's so fascinating. Yeah. Like there's everything say, on there. It, when you mentioned eating food and sitting down to put something on. Yeah. I started doing that this weekend instead of like Netflix. I just put something on YouTube because <laughs> I eat in like 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So a YouTube video, eh, I want to get back to playing my video game and not like eat for 10 minutes and then sit through the other 20 minutes of the mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I went to like, what's recommended on YouTube? Oh, oh Live God. PD? I've heard about this new show. <laughs> Let me yeah. watch this as a 10 my minute video. Yeah. It was perfect. I ate my meal in the 10 minutes and then went back to Metal Gear Fan of Fame. <laughs> so, you know, the nice. perfect, perfect. I think weekend. you're going to like that game. <laughs> 2016, still playing. Oh. Right, I'm gonna go. Wait, um, one more. One no, more. I, that was the last one. one. Yeah, that's it. I, I got that's spaghetti. This guy. It's getting cold. This guy. My one more. Was, yeah, Jin Pain. Spaghetti. Oh, the Cronenberg. Jin Pain. Jin Pain wants to keep us from our meals, Sean. All right, not Jin Pain. Stick, stick, stick around. Stick around. Start. We're gonna one get more. sick one and more. not be able to one have more. enough energy to come in in the morning. Ben. Oh, Ben's a good caller. We talked to uh, them on the PPS last week. I think, isn't this the caller that like froze on us the other day? Ben. All right, not Ben, not Ben. Not ben. ben. Oh, Ben let y'all down. One more call, one more call here. Ben bad. Yeah. Ain't Ooh, been good. Diode. Give him a 10 second buffer. Give him that diode. Only letting the electrons pass through one leg buffer. Give us that buffer, diode. I think his diodes are no, shorter. Yeah. Diode. Reverse polarity on that diode and hang up on that. Good biode. Yeah. All right. Uh, that. Uh, oh, yeah, here. Let me see something, because I think these are people who've like already hung up. Oh, okay. So go to the bottom, yeah. Person, okay. Yeah, person's offline. Keep going. There you go. That person's ready. Oh, weed poop. Weed Perfect. poop. Perfect. Weed on, poop. poop. In the top stuff. right. Oh yeah. What are you up to? Hello, weed poop. Weed poop, Sean. Stick around. We're just one more call. We're here. We're, we're still here. Weed poop. We're still here. All right, leaving weed poop. Okay, next call. We're gonna go to invisible face. Invisible. Hey. There you go. Perfect. Hello, Perfect. invisible Ready. face. Invisible face. Hey, how you doing? Good. This is Sean's last call, hey, and Sean, 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 Sean stayed for you. Sean's dying to know. Bugger, anti-bugger. All right, so I gotta say, the execution of the bug uh, prank, not great, but conceptually, I appreciate it. Okay, I, I think I, was, I agree with that. Okay, uh, thanks for the fucking film review, Roger Ebert. It's <laughs> wow. a yes or no question. It's, it's, oh, I apologize. It's a uh, yay or nay. It's all about execution. But I gotta go with yay, honestly. Ah, you're back in my good books, Roger. Roger Ebert's actually my favorite film critic of all time. So that was a compliment when I said that to you. Uh, this guy's pro bugger. This guy's cool. This guy gets it. This guy is tight. All right. Uh, That's about what all you can say you is yay or nay. You want to ask us a dumb question? Hey, That's a cool one. <laughs> gotta be open-minded, Rocco. Yeah. Oh God. Garrett, where are you going? What the fuck was that? Oh, fucking can I'm leaving. Goodbye. Visible face, yeah, question? Hold on, wait, this is the last call. Uh, so yeah, my question was... <laughs> Invisible my face. question was, there's a lot of negative stuff, you know, going on with YouTube recently, with the adpocalypse and all that, so I wanted to ask, uh, what's some positive stuff that's been going on, you know, in the internet creation and uh, media making stuff that you oh, guys want to talk about? Well, I was just gonna say real quick, in terms of positive stuff, 
The Aquabats did their uh, yeah. live yeah. stream yesterday yeah. uh, to finish mm -hmm. their Kickstarter. Right. Yeah. Which went really well for them. Like, it went really good. YouTube shut it down halfway through because of copyright. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Copyright yeah. on their own music? Yeah, because they, they were playing the Aquabats TV show. Oh, my God. God. My God. You know the show they own? Yeah, they played it. Isn't someone, that fucked up? Why would they do that? Someone was talking to me about this the other day, and they I was... They got a whole set for that. Yeah, I was remembering, like, so, other people who have been screwed over by getting the algorithm automatically taking their own stuff yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Because they are on a different channel or something. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Um, the, no, the Aquabats still streamed on other, like, they still had it going on Facebook and yeah. the okay. starter site and stuff. But it was still just like, you, how, how, how... Um, every job, every day is something new with YouTube. I could write a book about the shit that happens with us. Hey, and it's yeah, all it's like funny. it's all just fed off of greed, which is so gross. Well, because it all it's has to do even, with monetizing. It, to me, I'm not even thinking about that. It's just a, bro a broken, automated system that yeah. Then don't but use it's, it if yeah. it's broken. But don't use it. they'll. But the only reason it's there is because of monetization. Yeah, and their their stranglehold on. There's got to be other ways. Yeah. to do it. Anyway. Like you said, don't use it if it's broken. So that wasn't very possible. So in terms of uh, good <laughs> good stuff in content creation, what's yeah. what's Sean has to go. So what's your answer, Sean? We have nothing positive. I got something that's usually positive. Well, Sean, uh, Danny O'Dwyer, who does No Clip, and he's also a patron of Mega Sixty Four. If you haven't seen No Clip yet, Danny O'Dwyer is making I think the best gaming content. Not not comedy, but uh, he makes documentaries with video game studios, getting like the history of studios, development stuff, interviewing developers. Like none of it's marketing stuff. It's just the inside stories. But, uh, I, I he think. didn't ask what show you liked. No, that's He's positive on positive, YouTube. Yeah. Positive. I thought he was asking positive stuff in the development of like video content. I, I yes, that's correct. Well, yeah, yeah that's what he meant. Well, what? This guy's given his favorite no, no, it's true. recommendation. But, but Danny Dwyer <laughs> uploads it with no with no like monetary stuff, no ads, and well, it's doing cool. well on YouTube. In spite of the fact See, that I tried monetized. to do that with Good my for last him. Yeah. my last YouTube video. I tried to do that. Just put it up for the yeah. people. YouTube took it down. Whoa. I know. Sean, what's something positive you think? I was saying I get to hang out with my friends every day. Yeah, this I'm is my about, office. I get to work here with my yeah, friends. But that's not technology. Together, that's... <laughs> and we get to make something that people watch. But that's positive that's about sucks. Mega 64. What about YouTube? Oh, YouTube? How about we <laughs> say Twitch? Positive things about Twitch. Twitch has actually done some. Yeah, things. I'd rather, I'd rather Honestly, be like broadcasting the, on that. The Twitch platform. Prime thing, like, great, really helped us out. You, yeah, and, totally. And, uh, a lot of people too. Uh, anyone who uh, YouTube Prime going. Anyone who has Amazon out there, you got to remember to resub every month. It kicks you. So if you got that Twitch uh, subscription laying around, throw it to your boys. I bet we'll see some in the chat right now. I subscribe to our, uh, oh, yeah. our channel. So anyway, get those emotes. There so, we go. Yeah. Colossus. Other than hanging out with your friends, like talk about the technology. Kareem Bay. So, yeah. If you like hanging out with your friends so much, stick around for a second. He's acting about. He's asking about the tools. Hey, but you know what? No. What? About being the, uh, I mean, tell you things about YouTube that are good, but you know these things. You can look up anything. And it's cool. But making a video on YouTube is it's tough right now. I'm sorry. It's tough. They get mad about capital letters oh, yeah, or that's whatever. A new thing. And you oh. Don't, you don't know what you're gonna do to piss them off. I just want to put my videos so people can watch them. There's so many yeah. rules you I can want. fucking break now. I mean, so I'm sorry, YouTube. So I, yeah, I don't know if people out there are aware about this, but uh, yeah, I was informed while we were at PAX that uh, they were actively not promoting videos with all caps in the titles. I got that piece of news from an insider during that event, and it was like, that's like all our videos. Like, that's all our big videos. I like big, dumb titles, you know. Well, you and, can't uh, do that. Nope, can't do that. So I went back and retitled a bunch of videos. But that and, took a uh, they, they go back in time and tell us that our video promotes violence. And it's like, yeah. this video came out in 2007 and it doesn't. Yeah. So I don't know. I, good night, everyone. No, but talk yeah. about more about the community. Yeah, that was all negative that. stuff. Yeah, yeah that we're was supposed all negative. To, we were supposed to go talk about positive. the technology that you like. You're not Mike. You're yeah, talking to talk about a microphone. You're supposed to be positive. Can so. you come back to where you were, please? Talking to a microphone. Can you come back to where you were, please? You gonna moon the camera? It's supposed to be positive, Sean. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that, Sean. What? Oh, is that the camera? Is that the camera? You're a dad. Nobody wants to see that. Wait, seriously though, but uh, before you leave, you should answer the question. BB890 got his channel back. You can watch all his videos again. Yeah, see? That, you could have said Fucking that. I love it. I love BB890. 
could have said that. No, didn't he say racist stuff? Well, no, uh, well, since Sean has refused to answer the question, I think it's yeah. fair that I answer the question uh, on Sean's behalf. He said, uh, "Yeah, please, please do." I think it's great that uh, they've uploaded uh, three three sixty degree videos of Yosemite. Oh, that's cool. So that you could explore the park, even you don't have to go there. I'm sure you can watch some like old Olympics. Stuff and you can show too. it to your kids and get them excited to go. If they don't want to, that's positive. I think it's awesome that mus uh, music is so readily available on YouTube that yeah. they were able to work out. Seriously, this blows my mind. Mm -hmm. YouTube was able to work out a deal with the record companies where, yeah, pretty much every song uh, mm -hmm. of all time is on YouTube, except for like the Beatles, pretty much every band ever. Their which, full catalog is available just on YouTube. Which is ironic because in er in the earliest beginnings of all the music licensing stuff, yeah, uh, it used to be, in the beginning, it really sucked because there were songs you'd upload and then, oh, no, copyright claim, strike on your account. We're going to shut your account yeah. down. Yeah. And it's like, because I put up Gangnam Style, oh, it wasn't Gangnam Style, but you know, some past songs and they had to work out those deals. But there were certain songs, if you, if you would put it in a video, it would get tagged and there'd be bad stuff. In the, in that era, the Beatles were not tagged or noticed by huh. YouTube at all. And I felt like I was the only one noticing that. I was like, when I put a Beatles, like we did the Beatles rock band skit and it was like, there is not one tag or anything. And what it was is that the Beatles are such a big deal that it actually took them a lot longer to work out what they were going to do digitally. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it wasn't that they didn't care. It was just, yeah, they were, we're going to need like two more years to figure out how to handle this. But anyway. Uh, but yeah, I don't have a, like, um, you know, any sort of music app or account with Spotify, Pandora, any of that. It's just all streaming on YouTube and I don't even need YouTube bread. Like I can sit through a five second commercial. <laughs> so I play it in my car. That's awesome. See, I need higher quality sound and I can't stand ads. Uh, like, they you, drive me fucking you, It's, insane. it's, I, I don't listen to stuff that isn't HD. So if they don't have an HD version of a song, I'll find a different song. But for the most part, it's, it's all really good. Yeah, there are ads, you know, that's the, that's the thing you got to put up with. But One thing I love, I mean, it's different than technology, but like speaking of bands, I like getting into a band and then just searching their live concerts. Like I just recently got into like Yellow Magic Orchestra a few years ago and you can yeah. see all their, like people just upload full concerts and no one's taking that down, which is super rad. So yeah. Um, yeah. YouTube so. as it's funny, as strict as they are, there's a huge wealth of like, there's music, there's audio books, there's all kinds of stuff that you would Podcasts, think like, would be taken down, but yeah. no, they pretty much just go after our videos. Um, <laughs> anyways, thanks for the call, Invisible Face. Thanks, Invisible Face. Yep, thank you. Really good call. My YouTube account was deceptive, and our main YouTube account was promoting violence. Right. Those were all things I was told over the past year. That was a great call, I too. Glink. I wish Glink. Sean could have participated. In that. Yo, what up? G-Link. <laughs> What is up, guys? Um, Namaste. You have time for a question still? Oh yeah. Well, yeah, we, are you? We picked up the call. Are you pro or anti bugger? Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, um, that's besides the the point here. No, Look, it's actually. I want to know. That is. The I'm. Point. We need to know. That. I'm. No, uh, we need to know wait, that first. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! 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 Whoa, 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 whoa! You don't. Whoa, you don't okay. have permission to proceed. Okay. You, you shall not pass. I'm for all forms of life, so I'm gonna have to be pro. That's what? That makes perfect sense to me. Oh. What's your question, G Link? All right. So, um, growing up, you know, what character in a video game or TV show did you guys identify with the most? Like, hey, that's me. I can totally identify with that character or that guy or that struggle. Is there any particular character that really struck with you guys? Um, like I know, Derek, you said that Bart and um, at first was kind of who you identified with, then Homer. So uh, do you guys have- Well, uh, I, I never thought I was Bart Simpson, <laughs> but I felt like, you know, when you're a kid and you're a 10 year old boy and you watch The Simpsons, yeah, you find yourself being, you know, finding yourself in situations similar to situations Bart would find himself in. And then when you're a 30 year old man, you start relating more to Homer. But, <laughs> you know, Bart was also a bad kid. Bart was also kind of like a not good at school. Uh, that, that wasn't me as a kid. So, like, I, I liked Bart, but I didn't really, you know, I didn't feel like he represented me sure. as a TV character. Is this when you were a kid? Is it, are we talking about when you were younger? 
Um, yeah, younger or I mean, even modern day, if there's something that I, you just I'm like this, I'm, a, I'm a hair younger, so the show is a little bit younger, but like I really liked Hey Arnold. Uh, yeah. Not like like yeah, like with Hey Arnold, I think there was just elements like he was a very like pensive, sensitive kid, but he was still outgoing and had a wide variety of friends. His home life was kind of weird, which I definitely related to. Uh, I, I listened to an interview with the like, creator Greg Bartlett, and his idea behind Hey Arnold is basically a modern day Charlie Brown. Yeah. So like, I love that show, and there was this kind of air of sadness to it, but also just like being in the city. And uh, I know I, I really, really like that show, but like, yeah, there, there was something about just the hectic like home life of it, and just his attitude that I liked. Also, all, half the episodes were about crushes on girls, which oh boy, all about that. So. Uh, like my number one, uh, would without a doubt, I can't believe it even took me this long to think about it, is Kevin Arnold from The Wonder Years. <laughs> Uh, I every episode was like a thought that I had or a, a feeling that I had. You know what I mean? I think that show relates related to me more as a boy than anything else from my era. You know, because that show was based in like the 70s or whatever, but that was... Uh, every episode was something that I felt and I never heard anyone say. So, Cool. Okay. Hey, Arnold. Kevin Arnold. There you go. Right. I don't have, I don't Thank have you one. guys. I never related Memorial to... Memorial Bless your evening. evening. Oh, and then... I uh, you guys saw Terminator Two with me and I cried in the theater. But I John, watching John, I thought it was John Connor. Like I like I wanted to oh, be really? John Connor, but that like like it's like too much to get into. But I really hey, that movie really. You know me. what? Too, I'm gonna hang up. Thank yeah. you for the call, Glink. There's a I never related with anybody on any of these shows because I was always a fat nerdy mm -hmm. kid into video games. I love John Connor. He was a fucking cool kid yeah, who rode motorcycles and stole money from ATMs. Mm -hmm. Bart Simpson like could skateboard and mm -hmm. was not popular, but was like kind of a cool kid, you know? So there was always like, I really like these characters, but they're cool and I'm a fat dork. So but like, that's why I, I don't like think I relate to anybody. Kevin Arnold in the Wonder Years had all those little like insecurities and problems that I did. I never picked yeah. up on that personally. Yeah. You know, is I saw Kevin Arnold as like, well, he's got Winnie, he's got a girlfriend, he seems to be but, very smart and like you know, like got has his shit together. But, like, you know, but I, I don't know, if you watch that show, it's yeah, like maybe I, mean, I missed the point. Yeah, most of it is is actually none of that really going the way that he wanted. You know, especially with Winnie, like there there there's always complication there versus, you know, and it, and it's and it's that awkward like I don't really know how to handle this. I don't, there are a lot of like, the, that whole show is kind of like, I don't know what to think about this. Like every episode is that, mo that kind of moment. And I, I don't know. I guess that's how I, I felt about it. Yeah. No, I mean nothing. Yeah, totally. I just was, I never saw myself in Kevin sure. Arnold uh, or anybody for that matter. I'm really, I'm sitting here trying to think, yeah. um, but no, nothing's coming up. Sad. Wish, wish I could. Sad. Sad. Uh, all right. Who else do we got here? I loved Hey Arnold too. Yeah. Fucking Just so you know, I like I love Doug Rugrats. Yeah. Hey Arnold, I all ones. real monsters. I feel like hey Arnold was kind of the last one for me mm -hmm. in terms of all the Nicktoons that came out. That was right at the cusp of I'm not watching those anymore. You know. Yeah. And then when they got to like uh, Cat Dog and yeah. stuff. And I was, that yeah, that, that's what I meant. Like yeah. I liked Rocket, Rocket Power, Power, but it was like, very that like was, that was dumb. just after my time. Yeah. That was just after. Yeah. My time. Tester. Oh, uh, was not. Hey, it's all good. Just let, run are you in the it. Apple Store What's or up? the toilet? Which one? Bathroom. Hey, oh, uh, high school bathroom. I'm in my barracks. I'm in my barracks room. So Whoa! Oh, okay. Holy shit! Oh, cool. Uh, oh, I didn't notice you had the yeah, shirt and everything. Cool okay, stuff. very nice. Well, I guess first things first. I am anti bug prank. I don't Thank think you. that was. The, our military at work. Thank you very much. I feel safe knowing our country is in your hands. Yeah, you're probably yeah. sad the bug was uh, already a uh, corpse and you couldn't kill it uh, uh, to begin with. That was actually okay. my biggest complaint with this, that it wasn't a live bug. I feel yeah. Like See, that's a this, real problem. This guy's all, this guy, came from it. militant psycho killer here yeah, was probably, yeah, freaking out because oh, he could, couldn't stomp on it. Uh, okay, well, t Tester, clearly, uh, you know, Starship Troopers over here. Now I, qu I question your mental, um, you know, sanity at this point, but, um, no, this guy's, guy's right on target. What was your question? Uh, well, one question I had for Derek specifically was when's Heart Slayers coming back? I really love that. Hell yeah. Uh, 
show you, while you I was did have a bad question. It watching it. And when I went to boot camp, I came back. There was like 20 episodes, and I was happy gonna, as I could be. I'm going to bring on a special guest Come to answer this question. Take a seat. Yeah. Since you asked, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the arena. <laughs> Hello. My co-host of Heart Slayers, Meg. Hello. Uh, Meg, what do you want to tell them about Heart Slayers? Um, it'll be back in like two weeks. Okay, sure. Two weeks? Well, we'll set it. <laughs> two or three weeks. We were we were actually shooting for like this week, but we're running yeah. a little bit behind schedule. So season two will be coming within the next two weeks. We'll say yeah. two weeks. All right. So there, we just decided. There you go. That's awesome. And I was also wondering if you guys are going to start bringing in more people to give advice because I loved hearing from both you and from Meg. And I was wondering if we can get Rocco or even Frank. No, you don't want me on there. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, maybe. You never know. Yeah. We might have some special guests in there. It'll be a surprise. Maybe Sounds we'll even good. have you, Tester. Maybe. And we could dive into your oh. psyche of, you know, why you're an anti-bugger. I've been wanting to call for so long, but you guys had it right when I would go to work, and I'd always regret not being able to call. We're thinking about changing the time, and we're going to have all that information out uh, <laughs> soon so that everybody knows when the new season of Heart Slayer starts, we're going to try to make it more accessible to all the callers, because a lot of people complain that we would take calls too early. So, you're not alone. Yeah. So, probably like after. All right, well. Yeah. I'm really glad to hear that it's coming back. You know, I... A lot of shows that they're, oh, done with season one, but they just never come back. Oh, we'll be back. Don't worry. All right. Well, thanks for your call, Tester. Mm -hmm. See ya. Uh, I, I could do one more, maybe. I don't know how you guys feel. Sure. Scroll, now, up, scroll up a bit. Anybody else? Now that Meg's here. Uh, okay. Diode oh, again. Diode already. Diode. Uh, Mr. Rice Guy. <laughs> No mic. Oh. You should, you should probably have a mic if you're. Hello. Have <laughs> nope. All right. <laughs> Tip nope. number one: have a mic. Flint Woody. Yeah, I like the angle. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Is he at the, he at the oh, oh shit! Hello. What's, what's, what's happening, bro? Flint Woody? Looking sharp. How's it going? Good. Going good, bro. Here doing a podcast on a Sunday night. Are you Hell anti yeah. bugger or are you pro bugger? I'm pro bugger. Nice. Come on. Yeah. I think officially, you know, we call it more people are pro bugger than anti bugger at this you point. You know what? It started that way, but let me tell you, the poll, I'm checking on Twitter. You know, anti bug is climbing up. What? Yeah, how Fuck about it. that? Split All right. A little heavier towards anti bug. All right. Well, I got a question for y'all. Okay. Uh, are you pro raisin or anti raisin? Oh, I thought you said racist. I like raisin brand. <laughs> Are you so pro I, racist? Pro. pro raisin or anti raisin? Uh, I'm pro raisin and especially pro chocolate slash yogurt covered raisin. You know, oh, oh yes. It's That's weird because I, I was a, what raisinette. Oh my god. Oh yeah, raisinettes oh. are great. I was about to say it depends on the situation, but now I'm thinking of all the situations, and I love them all. Yeah, raisins so, yeah, are great. I, I don't know why I had that reaction. I'm pro raisin. Yeah, fuck yeah. Raisins are good. But what's your favorite way raisin delivery system? Is it the Raisinettes? Raisin Bran. I, I like that. Oh, Raisin Bran. I like Raisin Bran. I'm gonna, yeah, because I was gonna say, I think Raisin Bran. I They're think good. that's my Yogurt covered raisins. The flakes the white kind. are the perfect <laughs> contrast to the raisin. In it. You take a bowl <laughs> of uh, Raisin Bran and then just dump a box of uh, sun made raisins right on top. Triple scoops. Ooh. Now, I oh, wish. Like the early quitter, Sean, yeah. was still here. Well, yeah, because he'd have some raisin thoughts. <laughs> because he would tell us a story that I know that his dad doesn't eat raisins anymore. His dad used to love raisins, but one night went into the pantry, reached his hand in, pulled out a handful of raisins, was like, oh, what's that? Handful of maggots. Oh. And he never ate raisins ever I again. You were <laughs> That, that was a bug stunt. That's, that's that Sean's dad. Stunt. Now that's next level bug stunt. We're gonna try to do that to Rocco's raisins yeah. next time. Thank you for your call, Flint Woody. Bacon. Hey, yeah. Uh, well, can I show you my poster real quick? Well, hold on. I, I have more. One more raisin thought. Okay. Okay. I fundamentally like oatmeal raisin cookies, but I have to confess something. That's my favorite cookie. There is. I have some Pavlov's dog shit with those cookies in my head. 
because I recognize they are great. I never want to eat them, and I go like when 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 they're around because I had a lifelong childhood experience of whenever there were cookies, those would be the only ones left. Do you know what I mean? Like I had a family that was always cooking stuff. And it was always like, oh, the chocolate chip ones are gone. All that's left is oatmeal raisin. So in my head, I'm like trained to like when the, when the, it's almost like uh, Tootsie Rolls on, on Halloween. Like I don't hate Tootsie Rolls, but when that's the candy that's there, it's like, oh man. Oh. You know what's but funny? It's, like, it's not like they're bad. I might be the opposite. I love oatmeal raisin cookies. I love Tootsie Rolls. I think I love them because they were always left over oh, and yeah. I just got trained. Yeah, I think I think for me that my whole experience through life was sorry that's all that's left. And it was like oh. No, for me it's oh. like memories of uh Halloween linger on cuz yeah. still got Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. I wish I would have been wired that way. Oh yeah. Oatmeal anyway. raisin cookies. Oh, what? What were you Sorry, what? Oh, oatmeal raisin cookies. They're dank. I'll I'll fucking eat them first before taco chip. Yeah, me too. All right, show us this poster, and it better be good, okay. or else I'm I gonna hang up the fuck on this, on this so call. Here you guys go. Yeah, I like it. I like that. That's he great. Hates it. That's great. Ah, uh, you don't even have the original drummer. It's uh, yeah. Yeah, where's Matt Skiba? Exactly. <laughs> they didn't have a poster of Matt Skiba. Uh, I'm gonna call it personally. You guys can continue if you like. Well. I mean, Sean owes us 20 minutes, and he didn't even give it to us. Yeah, he should come back here and do it by himself. Tomorrow, Sean's going to do his own stream for at least 20 minutes, just because he owes you. Um, so I guess look forward to that. But for right now, maybe that's it. Hey, I wanted to say real quick before we finish this, um, as I mentioned earlier tonight, uh, I spent a shitload of time over the past couple days putting uh, together, uh, changing up the lineup and the order of shit and adding new shit to Mega64 TV. And so uh, we're gonna probably end this right now, but as soon as we're done, we're gonna start Mega64 TV and there'll be a whole bunch of stuff that wasn't on there before. Um, of course, it's mixed up with stuff that was, so it's not like it's gonna be you know, new stuff for two days or anything like that. But uh, regardless, there's some really cool um, when we start it up in a minute, there's a really cool bumper. It'll be a couple things in, like there'll be a bumper and then probably a good life promo. And then I think there's a bumper after that that is animated that is really incredible. Like the animation on it is so well done that I was blown away. So I know that's how it starts. I don't know what comes after that, but you know, stick around after this and you'll have some, some fun stuff to watch from your friends at Mega64. And all of it better than that pathetic bug stunt. <laughs> I just want to end tonight by saying maybe my bug stunt wasn't executed as well as it could have been. I will have to try harder with my next bug stunt. No, that's, yeah, no. when, when Penn tell her, tell her try a new stunt. I promise. I think my next stunt will be executed <laughs> Flawlessly. I think we proved those yeah. don't work at all. Thank you. What? Good night. When Penn Teller try a new stunt on stage, they try it like Person multiple nights board, in a row. Turn it off. And then they get it right. <laughs> Ghost oh, over there? The Wait, uh, what? <laughs> oh, and I'm not saying I was the one who did the bug stunt, but the next bug stunt, I'm going to take a personal responsibility with this stunt and make it perfect. Oh, they took me. Oh, yeah, go for it. Go for it. I want to get someone on the spot before they.